quarter of a mile, at junction 18, take the A428 exit to Daventry A361. We are en route to Wilton Mills karting track to meet Chris McCarthy from Karting Magazine, who is going to take 0K around the track to see what time he can get from 0K. So I'm quite excited. We've been working really, really hard for the past two weeks to make modifications to 0K, improvements, check everything works, make sure the batteries are all fine. And uh, at the last minute, of course, we had a problem with the temperature temperature today is 17 degrees so I'm hoping that our new cooling system with the turbo fan is gonna kick in and hopefully uh, keep the temperatures under control so a little nervous but quite excited and feeling quite positive so fingers crossed <laughs> Just finished today here testing the uh, new Zero K car, the electric car, uh, here at Wilton Mill for a karting magazine. And uh, what a day I've had, to be honest. Uh, when I came today to Wilton Mill, I didn't really know what to expect. And it's an electric car, it's brand new. Um, you know, how does it, how's it going to drive is my first question. Is it going to be different to petrol? And the, the answer is no, it's exactly the same. I've had five years experience racing here at Wilton Mill, so I know my way around. And uh, no, exactly the same, got lines, braking points, it turns in exactly the same as you want to. Uh, you know, mid corner speed's the same. You don't have to do anything much different on the throttle. You know, you still feed it in as you would say in a Senior Max or a Senior X30. So for me, it was, you know, I was very confident in the first session straight away getting used to the car, and I think that's important. For anyone out there on a petrol car, it's not going to be anything, you know, unusual to you. The only thing unusual is the sound. Now, when I pulled away out the pits for the first time, it was like someone was remote controlling the car from somewhere afar because. I could hear nothing, yet the cart was moving and uh, you know, it caught a few people out in the pits, believe me, they didn't know I was coming a few times and exactly the same when I've watched a uh, video back before the interview, uh, you know, I, you know, I saw you know, from the video that the, uh, the cart's making absolutely no noise except for when we hit the rumble strip and uh, that's amazing, you know, for a track like this that gets noise complaints every week. If we can have something around here racing, then you know, we might be able to race during the week, you know, and that, that's fantastic. Um, so yeah, it's really fast as well. We were hitting about 70 miles an hour, which was uh, about one mile an hour slower than a, a top senior X30 driver that was here today. We were lapping in the 48s, which I was really proud of. You know, the chassis is seven years old. Um, you know, I haven't properly, properly raced in, in three years yet. I've, you know, I've test driven a lot of carts in between now and then, but you know, that's fantastic. And the tires are, you know, really, really old. So uh, to get in the 48s was really, really, I was really proud of that, as was all the guys here. And uh, we were about three seconds slower than a, a Senior X30 that was on a brand new chassis and brand new tires. So I was really happy with that. And, you know, there was an absolutely no faults with the car all day. I was, believe me, I was thrashing it around at full speed. No problems at all. And uh, out of 400 amps that we have available, we only went up to 285 so uh, imagine we went to 400 you know I'll let you do the maths we did 70 miles an hour who knows what it could do so uh, I'm you know definitely want to jump back in now if I could unfortunately the uh, testing's finished here today but uh, yeah hopefully if the guys let me I'll be out in it again very soon and hopefully I'll see you guys in it alongside me